Hello, welcome to see you playing Grandmaster M. Gur. Who is that? Wow, that's really Mikhail Gurovich. Live in Brussels. Wow. Yeah, Gurovich is uh, somewhat of a living legend, actually. <laughs> He's in his 50s now, been an absolute world class player for quite a long time in the 1980s and, um, and 90s, been a second to to uh, many strong grandmasters and um, kind of stunned that he plays on the ICC. He's also, <laughs> which is quite quite funny, it's also the first grandmaster that I, that I have beaten in tournament shares and also the strongest. At the time he was just 2,600. He's, he was higher for a long, long period of time, being also above 2,700 at one, one point. So this is a main line of the English opening by transposition we got there. Black goes bishop h3 here. After rook a1, black can go rook b8 or take. Um, both is possible. Okay, rook e1, he played. Yeah, I wonder how this is actually played. Bishop h3, he has bishop h1 to keep this on the board, but I still think I should do that. Mm, so what to do? I wonder if f5 is really an option here or just a, just a useless idea. Hmm, not quite sure. Gulwich is a great expert on the English. So he, he absolutely knows what he's doing here. <laughs> so um yeah f five. F five looks very caveman. But I don't know. Let's do it. The game that I won against him back in 1997 or 1996. No, it's been a long time. That was also, I was attacking his king and I, I got a checkmate. <laughs> I got a checkmate in with a pretty direct attack. So I'm going for, going towards his king here at least. Yeah, White's main idea here Check. is to just be a little bit less weakened yeah black has some weaknesses here and my bishop is stranded c5 is a move that could be quite annoying something to check maybe he takes queen b8 no he plays that in a very patient fashion probably correctly so if I go f4, I wonder if that is an idea. It gains some space, but it gives up the e4 square, which is not exactly attractive. Hmm. Yeah, this is something that <clears throat> I wasn't quite sure how to react to. C5, queen a4, my b7 pawn is weak. It really is. He tries to check and take on c7. Queen c7, maybe then queen a4. Yeah, I'm a little bit under pressure here, absolutely. I wonder, maybe I can go bishop g4, h5, f7. That would be very useful.
Okay, I don't I don't see a concrete threat at the moment, so maybe I can do that. Check. Bishop over to f7. That would be helpful to defend to defend my position a little bit. I've got more space, but he's got uh, he's got um, more to attack here. So queen a3 is that the thing? Hmm. Mm, I can go c5. Oh, my time. Or does he have another idea here? Bishop a5 or probably not. Mm, I didn't expect that. Was, that. was that really all that threatening now? Oh, he wants to wants to trade and then gets get to attack this. Okay. If I take, I'm losing stuff. So I cannot take. Bishop F seven maybe. And at the end, he's got time warning. Bishop c7, and I go. No, I cannot go d5. That's a surprisingly annoying move, and which I took far too long to answer. Hmm. Took far too long to answer that. Hey, it's attacking e five. Takes takes is a double attack. Oh wow, he really, really got me here. Yeah. Yeah, this kind of position is a little bit better for white simply because it's, it's, it's more compact, yeah. You you have more stuff to defend with black, and um, it's not it's not that easy, especially with this limited time. G4. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Okay, I lose on time here. Yeah. Check. It was strange technical play, but at least Didn't quite get it.
Check. Check. Black forfeits on time. Oh, yeah, he outplayed me nicely there on the queen side. Yeah, this is a theoretical position. And this is a position that I um, have in my wide repertoire for that uh, mentioned, often mentioned English, English series, simply because those positions are a little bit easier for white to play because it's rather black who can overextend. And I did overextend Check. in some way. It's, it's not like black is terribly worse here. Yeah? It's just that it's not so easy to keep this 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 harmonized this position and um, yeah he's just creeping slowly towards Check. my position yeah that was an incredibly annoying move here and here I'm probably I'm okay here okay I didn't see why Ah, because I attack e2. So I can just take and do this. Because this isn't all that much. Because e2 hangs. Ah, so... Well, okay. I mean, I was under pressure the whole time. So I didn't I didn't see it. This is, this is just blundering then. But um, yeah, if you're under pressure the whole time, it's not an easy easy position to play at least uh, not for me he did a really uh, nice job there yeah that line um, can be recommended this is general this line it can it can happen from various moves ordered and uh, it's it's the kind of position where you can do do something with white without risking anything it's a very fitting part of an English repertoire okay guys thanks for watching